sentenced to execution by firing squad during the 1915 Mexican Revolution, when Ceslo Moguel survived despite being shot nine times, even outlasting the final coup de grace, a bullet straight through the head. We've survived another year's strange things, but we've got nothing on the legend of El Fusilado, the executed one. History details some truly unbelievable great escapes. My personal favorite is that of Joan Murray. In 1999, both of Joan's parachutes failed while skydiving, leaving her to drop 14,500 feet over North Carolina. It would have been certain death if it weren't for her landing on a mound of stinging red ants. Now, it wasn't the mound that broke her fall and saved her. It was the 200 plus bites from the ants that kept her heart beating and her adrenaline pumping. Despite spending two weeks in a coma, she was released from the hospital six weeks later. Joan's more modern survival story is one that I can't forget, but it was when Cecil Mogel that caught the attention of Robert Ripley himself. Pancho Villa was one of the most famous leaders of the Mexican Revolution. After escaping the United States, Villa's revolutionaries were still at odds. One of them went Ceslo Mogel. Branded as a traitor, he was sentenced as such to die by firing squad. During the Mexican Revolution, firing squad was the preferred means of execution. The squad was comprised of nine soldiers who would all fire their weapons at the same time. The tenth shooter, an officer, was to aim at one of the prisoner's vital organs and deliver the coup de grace the kill shot. This was Winceslo's lucky day. On March 18, 1915, the Federales took the positions and fired, even the 10th. Assuming he was dead, the job was done, or so they thought. Winceslo survived. Although in excruciating pain, he waited for his executioners to leave and miraculously left the scene to make his way to safety. Though horribly disfigured, Winceslo Miguel went on to live a full life and became legendary thanks to Robert L. Ripley, founder of Ripley's Believe It or Not. He appeared on his 1937 radio show and at the Cleveland, Ohio Auditorium. He was dubbed El Fusilado, the executed one. Here's to surviving 2019 Strange Things. I'm Sabrina Seek and I'll be back next week with more cool stuff, Strange Things. Cheers to Stranger Years.